a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video when it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk on as it be. If today not the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for our massive support to this channel i say may god bless all of you now in jesus name amen i get video away i want to present to una this very moment and i'm going to follow now they watch the video after we don't watch them together make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now we need to get it better yes sir and we will we need to make it work for benefit of everybody yes sir we can't continue the way we are today because for the obtained time, INEC has refused to give the legal team of the Labour Party access to the materials that they require. They require certified true copies of EC8A forms used in conducting the presidential election. They also require the scanned report of physical beavers or the backup in this case because INEC got a court order that authorized them to reconfigure the beavers for the governorship election. Whichever way they want to do it, they must give them the physical scan copies. But in this case, INEC is not cooperating. Despite a court order, but INEC still hasn't given them the required materials. So in this case, what will happen? A lot of people are worried and asking why must the Labour Party legal team rely on INEC CTCs to win the election or to prove their case? The reason is very simple. In the history of electoral disputes in Nigeria, there haven't been a time the court relied on political party agent copies of from EC8As to deliver judgment. It's very rare. Not that polling unit agent copies are not important, but the law does not give them priority. In the eyes of the law, what comes first, as far as polling unit results are concerned, is the certified true copies of from EC8As from INEC themselves. This is because the law sees INEC as an unbiased umpire. They are the ones that conducted the election. They do not have a horse in the race. They are expected to behave in a manner that a referee should behave. In other words, the law doesn't expect that INEC officials will favor any particular candidate. They expect them to do the right thing and be fair to every candidate. So in this case, the law is not a problem. It is humans that are the problem. We will come back to this in a moment, the human factor in INEC, how we can curtail the powers that the humans working for INEC have in order to achieve a freer and better election. You have an INEC that two, three months after that could not give us 70% of the evidence they claim that they have. It is sad. Now, still going on the order that the court takes evidence in electoral disputes, when the INEC CTCs of from EC8As are not available, like in this case, INEC has said in court that they do not have some of them, especially in River State, and if they don't have something, they will not give anything to the Labour Party legal team. So if they are not available, the next one that the court will take are the police copies of from EC8As. Yes, the police is also seen as not having a horse in the race. They are just there to observe and keep the peace at the polling units. So their copies should be reliable in court. Since they don't have any interest, they're not supporting a particular candidate, their results sheets should be authentic without manipulation. The same way the law sees INEC results, are the same way they see that of the police. The law is not the problem. Humans are the problem. The police might not manipulate their own results, but they might play a role at the polling units like we witnessed in the presidential election and even the governorship election where some policemen stood by and watched thugs from the APC intimidating others and carrying ballot boxes. Even in River State, the policemen aided PDP agents to snatch ballot boxes and, you know, overturn the results. So the law is not the problem. It is humans that are the problem. Like we already said, we'll still expatiate further in a moment on the solutions to these kind of problems in elections. 32, 333, 334, now, for whatever reason, if the police copies are not available also, the court will now rely on political party agent copies. Yes, that is how it works. 
the political party agent copies are the lowest admissible in court. Obviously, the political party is part of the process. They are contesting. Their result sheets might be contestable. They might have altered them or anything. Not that it is real or that the Labour Party did that, but this is the way the law sees it. And the Labour Party legal team are aware of this. That's why they are insisting that INEC furnishes them with the CTCs. If you look at the team, their combined experience is better than the others put together. The team leader is a former Imo State Attorney General. In fact, he is the youngest person to attain such a position in Nigeria. Carlo also is a former Attorney General in Abia State. Then you have Ibazo, who is known everywhere in Nigeria. He has cut his teeth in electoral disputes. He was the one that won Peter Bay's mandate and he has won many cases, especially the recent one, which he won against Wole Olani Beku, Tinubu's lawyer. That's talking about a delicate win against Oyetola in Oshun State. So they are well experienced. It wouldn't be a surprise that they have secured the police copies already. This is to make sure that INEC will not play a fast one on them in court. Anyway, there is a great example of where this was done. No matter how we want to see it, that the Supreme Court overturned the victory of the PDP in Imo State and made the person that came forth the winner of the election. Yes, it might sound surprising, but actually when you look at what happened, you will see that it was pre-planned with INEC. Because when you look at what happened in court, it leaves no doubt. Hope Uzodema, in order to prove his case, came to court with police copies of from ET8As. He provided these copies in the more than 300 polling units he was contesting the results. When he tendered them in court, INEC and the PDP screamed that the results were fake. But you can imagine someone that was screaming that something was fake was given the opportunity by the court to provide INEC CTCs and they declined to provide them. How is that possible? You are contesting something and you are given an opportunity to disprove the something you are contesting and all of a sudden you lose your voice, you refuse to provide the evidence. So INEC was in bed with the APC in the court. They didn't want to provide their own copies. The PDP also failed to secure the police copies or the INEC copies in advance before going to court. So when the INEC CTCs are not available, the court will rely on the police copies to make the judgment. That's how it works. That was exactly what happened in the court. So in order for this kind of thing not to happen in the presidential election petitions tribunal, the legal team of the Labour Party already knows what to do. They have all the experience. They will never let INEC or APC take them by surprise. Now to how we can remove the human factor in elections in Nigeria. All these positions, INEC resident electoral commissioner, INEC this, INEC that, we don't need them to be intervening in elections. We only need them for logistics. No need for them to have powers like declaration of someone as the winner of election, no. It is this power that gives them the audacity to commit the kind of rigging that was witnessed in the presidential and governorship elections. So if there are amendments in the future, what they will be there is just to supervise the election, provide logistics, make sure the materials get here and there, you know, all the other office works. The real major work we need to do is to make sure we take advantage of technology to the fullest. Elections are conducted at the polling unit. So immediately after counting is done, they will punch the figures for each party. After they finish punching them, all agents will verify that the results are correct and they will upload the results, not just taking photos of the forms, they will upload the figures also. So when everyone is watching, you will see who won the election and the judge will just sit down and affirm the results. So no person will intervene anymore. All these their unnecessary powers, the party in power were busy putting their people into positions. Just look at what happened in Adamawa, what the resident commissioner did. Look at the discovery of the BBC, the person that announced Oyibo local government area results in River State. He claimed to be a lecturer in one university. When they made the investigation, they found out the guy doesn't exist. So these are all the things that we should do in the future amendment. But the government in power, because this kind of system favors them, they will never do it. Look at the presidential election that took place in Turkey. By evening on the same day, the results was ready. So we are not asking that Nigeria should reinvent the wheel. They should just be able to copy others. Copy what others have done. Why can't we emulate what others are doing even in West African countries? We shouldn't continue to be doing the same thing and expect different results. Punch the results at the polling units and the system or app will be able to collect the results for any particular election, be it senatorial, local government election, governorship, presidential and federal house of reps. 
this is the way going forward. Remember that tomorrow is the next adjourned date. Labour Party will be in court and the court is expected to decide on the issue of live broadcast. Stay tuned, we'll be there to give you updates. Thanks for watching. Hey!